I'm sitting here with Ian and Autumn Curry, uh, oh. two young people, and uh, I just want to ask them a couple of questions. I'm going to start with Ian. Uh, Ian is going to be 13, uh, 13, my goodness, he's going to be 10 years old um, tomorrow, which is February 13th, and this is Autumn. Her birthday was December 28th. And she is 11 years, I'm 29th, and she is 11 years old. So I think uh, I've been talking with them, and I think they have a lot to share um, with, you know, ideas that I, that, that I think the world would like to hear. So let's start with uh, Ian. What do you think about politics, Ian? Um, well, first of all, do you know what politics, what it is? Well, yeah, it's basically the um, the fighting to get a good seat and to get a seat in some more powerful and the democracy. Yeah, the democracy. The basically the whole government is a pol is a po is politics. It it's kind of like well it's kind of like this. People are fighting, but they're not using any weapons. They're using words. They are using words. And trickery. And some and that's actually why some presidents are impeached. Because just like Richard Nixon. They were trying to steal secret stuff as how to win the next um the next poll and become president again. Though the president isn't actually a very good campaign. The president just signs stuff, so Hmm. Okay. Autumn, do you have anything to add to that? Well, I don't really understand politics. I really don't. Um, but I can say this. Politics are like, they try to persuade people into, um, into trying to get them, to trying to get the people vote for them. So they will use anything, anything, even if it's good, even if it's bad, to try to get people. Except for, um, physical contact. Yes except for physical contact, to get people to vote for them. Well, what's important about voting? Why should people vote? Well, people should vote because it's, it's, um, it's getting the people to get what they think out to the world. Like, for instance, if um, I wanted to vote for, let's see. Um, Ron Paul. Um, I would give out what I think, what I think Ron, why I think Ron Paul will be a good leader to, um, to be president. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ian, do you have anything to add to that? Yes. I think voting is important because you don't actually... Because short of protesting, that there isn't really any other way to um, express. Because it's kind of like we the people. So it's actually like the president and the Congress don't actually have any more power than the people do. Actually, the people have more power because they have the, the decision to dethrone them. Oh, you think so? Yes, I do. Okay. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Bless you again. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, this is Black History Month. What can you say about the history of black people and uh, in America well, and anywhere? Ian? Well, the black well, um, African Americans were a, were a proud race until slavery, but 
They, a what kind of race? A, a proud race because, well, they were the first people, because we were the first people ever alive on this planet. All other people, all other races derive from African American races. And the Egyptian races, even though they're portrayed as Middle Eastern, are African. They are still African. Did you learn this in school? No. How, how did you, where did you come up with these notions? Um, firstly, from my mom. Secondly, from reading a lot of books. You should really read a lot of books if you want a lot of information. You think so? Yeah. More than television? Television is made to um, push a lot of bad notions into your head. If you read nonfiction books, then they have some truth to it, unlike most, unlike most tel television, unless you're watching a nature channel. Nature channels, I advise, uh, all of their tel television should be kept to minimal. Okay. Now, uh, Autumn, the both of you, uh, about Black History Month and or about slavery, what do you think about slavery? I think slavery, I think, I'm sorry, I think slavery is wrong, okay? I think slavery is wrong, it was always wrong, and, all, and it will always be wrong. And America all, was made for freedom if the school sayings can be trusted america was made for freedom of speech and just to let you know so we... so the so slavery is actually just throwing away everything that america was made for and first of all people blacks weren't the first slaves whites were no yeah no no who 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 were the first slaves? The what? first slave? No. Who? Well, I would say that's kind of a um, kind of a test between Mongolians and um, Caucasians. It's kind of a, you know. Well, what about Native Americans here in the United States? Um, Native oh. Americans weren't were enslaved like. They were enslaved along with, um, well, not mo ac actually, not most Native Americans were enslaved. Like, a little tiny portion was, but Native Americans have been shot down, basically killed by invading, uh, by invading Caucasians. Be it Germany, France, They've been shot down by Caucasians and Spanish. Autumn? Um, I actually have a lot. Um, at my school, we were learning about conquistadors and how they were explorers and how many Indians they killed, like Native Americans. For example, let's say Hernando Cortez killed approximately I would say 14,000 Native Americans 40,000 not well, 40 40,000 Native Americans when he was living 40 and enslaved the um the Aztecs until they were hungry and died that's why and they're Hernando de Soto Aztecs. killed I know he killed a lot. I can't recall how many he killed, but I know he killed a lot. And it's sad because the Native Americans are like human beings. Well, they basically are human beings. They are like everyone. They are. They human are human. They are human beings. They're like everyone. I don't know why they would try to kill them. For what? For nothing. No. C because they thought that they were. A, 
they thought that they were basically animals and they were killing them for either land or because they were trying to be pure. Pure? Pure. Explain that to me. They, they, they would basically kill or enslave anyone else who didn't have the same belief as they did. That's pure. Okay. What do you think about warfare? You know, people having wars in one country fighting another. What do you think about that? I think that it wouldn't be necessary if we all, if we, if, again, back to the politics. If there were no politics, there wouldn't be any wars. Because it wouldn't be organized enough to be a war. What, a, what do you have to say about that, Autumn? I don't. I bas I don't like wars. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think I don't that like wars, wars are necessary. They're not necessary. Like the war in Afghanistan. I don't. I don't think it's necessary. Do you think um, everyone should try to get along? Is that what you think? Yes. Um. Yeah. And if you don't get along, if you really don't get along, just be quiet. Just be quiet and don't start anything. If if you cannot get along and you are boiling to the point of war with them, of battle with them, just go to the other side of the world. There is no reason to have any war. Just like in Bambi when um, Thumper said, if you can't say nothing nice, then don't say nothing at all. It's basically the same thing. If you can't agree on one thing, then just, just separate. Just separate. Hmm. Good thoughts, good thoughts, interesting. All right, um, what do you think about learning? What is it important for people to learn? What do you think about school? Um, I think school is good if they're teaching you the right things. And what are the right things? The right things are teaching pe the African American race is being exterminated and these are the reasons how one making um making male black making male black americans feminist what in the world does that mean it means making them gay homosexual uh, homosexuals are born. They're not mates. How can someone make someone a homosexual? People, homosexuals they are born. It. They choose it. They choose it, but they're planting it in their brains, and they're. It's basically they are steering that course of action. They are steering that course of action to it. Well, I don't know if I agree with that because I think people are born the way they're born. I think people are born. Some people are born homosexual. Some people are born heterosexual, some people are bisexual, but then they choose, they may choose to go in a particular direction. So. I think people have their differences. That's why God made people I was not done are. yet, Autumn. Sorry. Okay, go on. Um, two... Education. They are killing education to make African Americans, because they the education that they're doing is how all the um all of the Caucasians were and slavery. That's basically all they talk about. I mean, it's not. I mean, social studies is not good. History. Is well, history is good if you're learning everything, but it's not good if you're learning only one side. It's like being a judge without having both sides, it's impossible. Very interesting. Autumn, do you have anything to add to that? I agree with Ian with how the education system is being run. They are, te they are preparing us to fail. That's basically it. That's it. They're preparing us to fail. Well, don't you think teachers 
um, people who choose teaching, don't you think that they are um, dedicated and they want people to learn? No. Well, no, I, some, I don't think so. Some, but... I wasn't done yet. Some. Teachers only want to be teachers because they think that they can teach the next generation what they know. What, what they think is right. But what they think is right may not be right. I don't think that that's true. I just think that some teachers actually want to teach. Like, my teacher is doing an ISAP prep to help people get good scores. My teacher. In, my teacher. And what grade are you in? I am in fourth grade. So you think your teacher, do you like your teacher? Yes. And so you think your teacher is really trying to help you? Yes, because she actually, because social studies, she is, she loves social studies. But she cut social studies off and put ISAT prep in to help until our ISAT is over. Okay. Let me ask you, both of you, uh, I'll start with Autumn. Autumn, what Wait, is your favorite subject? Oh, you had something else? Yeah. Um, my teacher in fourth grade, Mr. Hayes, when we were doing science because he was our science teacher back, um, last year, we had these science textbooks that the school gave us. And so, um, when we were reading them, he said, I wanna get new textbooks. I wanna get National Geographic textbooks because these textbooks don't have what you need to go on to, to, go on to a different grade, to learn what science is all about. It doesn't have that. So, we get boxes and boxes of textbooks, boxes and boxes. We have so many textbooks in our class. And now Ian's class for science is using those textbooks. Those textbooks have everything. So what I'm saying is um, the textbooks might not have all the stuff that you need in social studies. And science and social studies and everything. It might not have what you need. Ian, what is your favorite subject? My favorite subject would be science. And why is that? Because science is like learning how everything's built, how everything works. It's the learning of chemistry. It's the learning of how to make things, how to build things, how to understand things. It's the make, it's, like, that light bulb wouldn't be shining if there weren't any wires in the ceiling that ran a, that ran a circuit, a closed circuit. Otherwise, that light bulb wouldn't be shining. And that, that string is connected to a circuit. Because if you pull it, it opens the circuit and makes the light bulb turn off. Hmm. Very interesting. What is your favorite sub subject, uh, Autumn? Um, I can agree with Ian on science. Um, because it teaches you... Um, it teaches you how stuff works, how things work. It teaches you how they're like built, how, how they work. Like for instance, a TV. Take a TV for example. Um, it has circuits, it has wires that are connected to one bulb that is inside that TV. And a the, huge, no, a it's, huge, not, it's not one bulb, it's more like. It's like at least two. Like, the, I don't like, know. I don't know how many. Yeah. But they're bulbs in the TV that make the picture come out from the. Um, but you don't know what makes the pictures. Um, light waves and. You don't know what makes the pictures colored though. Well, it makes the picture come onto the screen. Yeah. Yeah, there are light beams that go crisscross like that. Yes. One at a time, and it's. 
happened so quickly that it appears um, and, like, like, as an image. Yeah, and also in science, in my class, we are learning about um, class one through three levers. Oh, okay. If anyone doesn't know that class, um, we are learning about like the um, class one, class two, class three levers, um, the, oh my god, I forgot, um, but, like, how the, how the fulcrum, the load, and the effort change. Okay. All right, well, that's good. Those are simple machines that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we're running out of time, so, um, I have... Uh, one final question, and then I want you to just give your feedback, anything that you want the audience to know. Okay. Um, my question is, what is your formula for making the world a better place? I'll my start with Ian. My formula for making the world a better place is, one, ridding it of all of the animals in the world. The animal people who curse and yell and generally just make the world a better, a uh, worse place. My second is to eliminate any and all wars and make peace. My third is to reduce the chemical byproducts of, of machines. I'm talking about, um, I'm talking about gases, fumes, um, green gas, greenhouse gas, fossil fuel, and making it all run on electricity, like cars. There are actually cars that run are on electricity and so don't like emit anything. Like no, electricity. Electri there are actually electricity stops when you stop and you plug it in. Hmm. Okay. Very good. Autumn? Um... First, I would agree with Ian on the animals. Okay. Um, you mean uh, like dogs and cats and... No, I don't mean those animals. I don't mean the creatures that roam around us that are friendly to us that we keep as pets. I mean the animals that are human beings. But we call them animals because they are. They are sick animals. Because... A, they curse in front of children. I mean, like, which person out of their right mind would curse in front of a child? You don't know what that child will, like, say when it grows up. Um, two, I want to get rid of all the And violence. by all of gases, I mean cigarettes, cigars, pipes, everything that emits gas. Okay. Well, Two, I want to get rid of all the violence and the cruelty. Okay. To not just humans, to animals too. Okay. That... I don't know if anyone watches those commercials, but um, with the animals, some animals are well, all all the animals are molted. Same thing. Yeah, molted and mutilated. mutilated. Um, one, they get beat. Two. Sometimes they, sometimes their legs get severed. Mutilated, that's what you're talking Mutilate, about. Mutilated, yes. Yes. Two, their legs sometimes get severed. Three, they can go blind from being hit in the eye too much. Four, they get starved. Maybe even to death. To death. Five, they're living in... They're living in their own poop, which makes intestinal worms and other diseases. And the puppy mills. Cut out the puppy mills. Seriously. Six, the puppy mills, but that's all. What, what are puppy mills? Puppy mills are when there are a bunch of dogs, cats, animals that are living in one place. What are puppy mills? Puppy mills are this, it's like this room that has any animal, dogs, cats, any animal you can imagine. 
living there. Just like, I'm not talking about like two dogs living in one room. I'm talking about at least 16 dogs in one room living in their feces. In one cage. In one cage. 16 dogs living, living in, in one, one cage. cage. Living in one cage, living in their feces, have nothing to eat. Where did you hear about this? I heard this in a book called Vet Volunteers that I read. It was about a how this one... And we saw it. Don't, don't you remember those okay, dogs? Okay, okay. No, on that um, commercial where those dogs and there was all these black Yes, feces. yes, yes, okay. yes. And so um, it was talking about how this um, girl um, is rescuing these animals that are from a that are from a puppy mill because there were these dogs that were sold at a farmer's market. These oh, dogs wow. that were sold at a farmer's market. And so this lady bought them. And so the dogs are, like, sick. They're throwing up. They're, like, they have, like, diarrhea. They're sick. And so one dog dies. One puppy dies. Actually, two. Two, puppy die, two puppies die. And they're, like, okay, we need to find out where these puppies are, like, selling where these puppies are like selling and where they started, where this whole thing started. Um, okay, check out our Prophecy of the Pharaohs book that will be coming out soon. Prophecy of the Pharaohs. And it'll be a series and we will be blogging about it soon. Okay, any final words for everybody? Yes! Always read books because they are very healthy and don't watch a lot of TV. I agree with him. Okay. Well, I want to thank you very, very much. This is Ian and Autumn Curry. Back to you. Yeah.